Hi friends, it's Miss P from Room 203. Hi. I have another story for us to read together today. Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes. It's a good one. Written by Kimberly and James Dean. But first, before we read our Pete the Cat story, I have something. Remember? I wore this last time we read a Pete the Cat book. It's my Pete the Cat hat. I'm all ready now to read our story. You ready? Okay. Pete the Cat and the Missing Cupcakes. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at all of those cupcakes. Let's see. That looks so yummy. Here's Pete. Pete and Gus were as busy as could be. They were getting ready for the cupcake party. It started at three. They had their spoon, their milk, their flour, and look, Pete's mixing it all together. <gasps> they were making cupcakes for everyone. Pete and Gus counted them just for fun. Let's see how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> they had ten when they were done. Oh no, hang on. Some of the cupcakes were gone. They were sure there had been 10. Pete said, maybe we need to count them again. Let's count them again, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's only eight this time. They counted the cupcakes when they were lined up straight, but there were only eight. It looked like someone had taken two, but who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then they found a clue. Gus said, let's look and see what we found. Sprinkles on the ground. I bet it was Squirrel. She loves sprinkles. Squirrel said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been at a spelling bee. Oh no, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Oh, let's count how many there are now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, this was too weird. Two more cupcakes have disappeared. Now there were only six. Someone must be playing tricks, but who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Look at their faces. Just then they found another clue. Look at that clue. Hmm, what are those? What's that clue? Pete said, I bet it was Alligator. He loves to eat. Alligator said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been learning my ABCs. Oh no, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Oh no, let's see. Now, let's count how many there are. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's only four cupcakes now, only four. Now there were only four. Someone had taken two more, but who? Pete and Gus did not know what to do. Just then they found another clue. What's the clue in this one? Hmm. How about this ladder? We didn't see this ladder before. I bet it was Turtle, said Pete. I know Turtle loves sweets. <gasps> Turtle said, it wasn't me. It couldn't be. I've been swimming in the sea. Hmm. Uh-oh, more cupcakes are missing. Come and see. Oh no, what happened? What on earth was going on? All the cupcakes were now gone. How many cupcakes are there now? Zero, there were no more cupcakes, zero. <gasps> Pete and Gus did not know what to do. They started looking for another clue. So let's see what we see, what our clues are. We see the ladder, we see the cupcake wrappers, we see 
footprints. We see sprinkles and they keep going and going and going. I wonder what happened if they follow the, the clues on the ground. Let's see what happens. They found Grumpy Toad and he had icing all on his face. Look at all that icing on his face. Pete and Gus have solved the case. I am so sorry. It was me. I could not stop with just one. I ate and I ate until there were none. Look at all that he got, all these cupcakes and more. Everyone agreed that Grumpy Toad would have to miss the party. He could not come after what he had done. Pete said, but wait, Grumpy Toad made a mistake. This is true. Just give him a second chance. That's what friends do. Pete and the Grumpy Toad told Grumpy Toad they would give him another chance. He was so excited that he did a happy dance. Oh, that's being a good friend, giving people a second chance when they make a mistake. The night of the party was so much fun. Grumpy Toad bought more than enough cupcakes for everyone. Look at all those cupcakes he bought. Let's count and see how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. He brought sixteen cupcakes to the cupcake party. It says, P the cat's cupcake party. And they're all happy that he brought all those cupcakes. Look, and they're all our cupcakes again. They look so yummy. Oh, looks like P has frosting on his face down here because he's been eating that cupcake. Wasn't that a good story? I hope you were counting along with me too. That book has a lot of counting that you have to do, okay? I hope you like the story. All right, friends, see you next time. Bye-bye.